Hey y'all, it's Ebony. Welcome or welcome back. Hope y'all are doing okay today. So we have sort of a different angle in this video today and that is because y'all, I needed to showcase all of these babies <laughs> because this video is going to be a fragrance collection video. Now for me, fragrance means perfume, lotions, body creams, things like that. I wanted to show y'all my collection and if you're interested in these type of videos and maybe wanted to try some new scents keep on watching okay y'all so i just wanted to show y'all first an overview of all of the fragrances that i own actually these aren't all of them because i do have like some body creams um from the body shop i believe um that i use at nighttime and i didn't feel like getting those for this video but <laughs> this pretty much sums it all up so i have mostly Bath & Body Works fragrances because it's accessible, it's cheap, and I feel like they smell good. I Have y'all seen them things on social media recently where they'd be like, don't spray your Bath & Body Works around me? Well girl, what you want me to smell like? A fragrance is a fragrance. Um, why are we discriminating based on what people can and cannot afford? If you are a Bath & Body Works girl, whether it's be only because it's in your price range or because you just genuinely like the fragrance, both of which apply to me, girl, you should not be ashamed. Fragrance is fragrance, and if it smell good, it smell good, no matter the price. But yeah, like I said, most of the fragrances that I personally own are from Bath & Body Works. I have a little bit of Victoria's Secret in here, a little bit of Dossier, very little bit, and then two high-end, um, I guess you can call them luxury perfumes, um, just depending on what you consider luxury. For some people, what I have probably ain't even luxury, you know what I'm saying? Okay, y'all, so let me show y'all the two high-end perfumes that I own. Um, like I said, majority of this collection will be from Victoria's Secret, Bath & Body Works, so those I would consider low-end. They're very attainable for just about anybody, um, and those take up the majority of my collection. The two high-end fragrances that I own would be the Lancome V.S. Bell perfume and then the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. Oh, and I also have the Rollerball version of the Lancome perfume. For the mid-end, I would consider Dossier to be mid-end um, because they're from 29 up to, I believe, $49 a bottle to me that's pretty pricey when I can get these type of bottles for like $6 a pop during certain times of the year. So I would consider these mid-end just because the price to me, sweetie, screams mid-end. <laughs> One thing about me, I keep everything in boxes. I do not know why it's not necessary, but that's just one thing about me. One thing about your girl. I have just three Dossier perfumes. I have Fruity Jasmine, Gourmand White Flowers, and Ambery Vanilla. You can watch my review of two of these fragrances in my Dossier unboxing and uh, review video. I'll link it somewhere up here. Um, as for Fruity Jasmine, in that video, I mentioned to y'all that there was a fragrance that I got that I just wasn't a fan of, so I exchanged it for this one. They were the same price, so I didn't pay anything to exchange it. This Fruity Jasmine is, is inspired by Miss Dior. Um, this smells amazing. I feel like this one lasts the longest out of the three of these. Oh, this just smells so good. And later in this video, I'll show y'all just a couple of my favorite pairings. Hot, and this one I will feature in that part of the video. I'm not sure if that helps with the longevity, but this one I feel like lasts longer than these. So I'll show y'all that a little later. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. So I wanted to show y'all some of my favorites. Let's start off with, actually, we're going to start off with some of my least favorites because I feel like that part might go by a little bit faster. So for me, just a little background on myself, I personally like vanilla creamy caramel scents like that very warm scents i'm a fan of no matter the season i love a warm scent i also like some sweet fragrances not too sweet i don't want to smell floral um i i'm not a fan of floral scents too too much i think that's pretty much i think that pretty much sums it up for me um and then also quick disclaimer y'all i am not a heavy fragrance girl like with the notes and things like that I just know if something smell good it smell good I'll try my best to describe some of these fragrances to you if necessary I will pull them up on my phone to try to give you all the notes but don't depend on that um yeah <laughs> I don't know what else to tell y'all but yeah let's get into some of my least favorite scents okay so one of the first on my list this one comes like to the top 
of my mind um, and it's actually right behind me <laughs> is this scent from Bath and Body Works. This scent is called White. This is a fine fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works. It says graceful and radiant, harmonious, ethereal, and sheer. Um, it doesn't have any of the notes or anything like that on here. This is an acquired scent. I know my sister also has this too. I think this smell way, smells way better on my sister than it does on me. I don't know, a little, to me, a little too much of this will start to, it makes me sick after a while. So this scent has been discontinued from Bath & Body Works. I actually can't find anything online that describes what it smells like. But it just smells, I don't know, it smells a little old to me. <laughs> So maybe that's why I don't care for it that much. Another one that's not really one of my favorites, I have the, I guess, set, is the At The Beach perfume and lotion. So this is what this one looks like. And the lotion. And this one, uh, Keynotes White Frang, ooh, girl, hold on now, Frang, Frangapani, Frangapani <laughs> Blossoms, Toasted Coconut, Bergamot Waters, um, Sea Salt Breeze, Sunkissed Musk. To me, this smells like sand. At the Beach is the perfect name for this. It smells like sand. It, it smells very coconutty, but sandy at the same time. This, definitely a summer, summery scent. Um, sometimes I even wear this to the gym because I just am no longer a fan of it like that no more. It's not a bad scent, it's just no longer one of my favorites, but I wanted to share that one with y'all. I gotta be careful, it's like dominoes back here, y'all. I don't wanna knock nothing over. Oh, this is a good one. This one is actually a recent purchase. This one is called Beneath the Palms by Victoria's Secret. That's what it looks like. And then I also have the perfume for this. So with this one, I went into Victoria's Secret when they were doing one of their um, semi-annual sales. And I got the perfume first. And at first the perfume smelled good to me. I sprayed it on the tester. You know, I didn't mix it. I didn't spray it directly on myself. Sprayed it on the tester strip. And I thought it smelled good. I thought it smelled fresh, um, airy, green. That's what I, I how I describe this one. But then I went back and got the lotion, and the lotion to me smells like glue, y'all. I mentioned that in one of my vlogs. I'll link it somewhere here. Um, but the lotion to me smells like glue. And then the more I own this, the more I use this, I just wasn't a fan. I wasn't a fan anymore. Um, luckily, like I said, I got these when it was the semi-annual sale, so they were like $6 a piece or maybe like $5 a piece. Yeah, so this one is another one that sometimes I'll wear to the gym or if I'm just around the house when I'm working from home and I want to put on the fragrance, I'll put on these. Um, well, this um, and yeah, it's not a bad scent. Again, it's just not one of my favorites anymore. And the last one that I want to mention to you guys, it's a regret purchase of mine, because this one was pretty expensive. I think this one was like 70 something dollars when I bought it. So this is the Lancome, ooh. This is the Lancome V S Bell perfume. Um, I got the one fluid ounce. I still have this. I got this years ago when I was in college. Still have it, still quite full. And I also have the roller ball because I liked it so much when I first got it. It smelled so good to me when I first got it. But now it just smells old to me. This scent, this scent does last all day. It lasts for a very long time. But now I'm just not a fan of these anymore. So this one has Iris Polita. Jasmine Sambac Absolute Orange Blossom Absolute Patchouli Essence. Y'all, please forgive me for butchering all of the pronunciation of everything. But yeah, this one, um, not one of my favorites, y'all. Not one of my favorites. I wish it was a little, like, sweeter, I think. I think that would make me like it more, but it's not it's not that great. <laughs> okay, so now that we got through my least desired scents. Let's get to some of my favorite scents that I own. So y'all, this one, I ain't even got to think about it. I'm so sad that I no longer have the perfume. This is like one of the most nostalgic Bath & Body Works fragrances 
that I own. This one reminds me of high school because this was out when I was in high school. I believe this is a retired fragrance now. Sensual Amber from Bath and Body Works. Y'all, this is one of my favorite scents. Again, I love warm scents. I love scents that just smell warm and ambery, vanilla, vanilla-y, vanilla-y. <laughs> this to me is just smells so good it's so warm it's to me a very um, sophisticated mature scent for Bath and Body Works in my opinion it just smells so good so good this one uh, keynote golden amber wild berries orange flower lotus petals uh, creamy sandalwood this one might pair well with the um, dossier ambery vanilla scent I haven't tried them two together yet but this smells so good one of my favorite scents um, when Bath and Body Works have their sales usually I go in the store looking for these a lot of times they don't carry them in store if you want to get this one because it's a retired fragrance um, you have to order it online sometimes you can find it in the store this one is full I got this one uh, recently I don't know how recent though this one is pretty full and I believe I got this in the store though but it just depends on which store you go to and things like that this is one of my favorite scents love this so much I gotta get the perfume again I told you all I love vanilla vanilla bean from Bath and Body Works this is what it looks like y'all I only have the perfume of this one. Oh my gosh this one smells so good by the name as the name suggests smells like vanilla it just it's like vanilla, but like has a little bit of, I don't know, something in it. I don't want to say this because I feel like y'all going to say that's nasty. But something in it has like, makes it like a little tangy. It's just like, this one smells so good. So, so, so good. I find that this lasts for a long time too. I don't know if they have this in a, a um, lotion. I'm sh pretty sure they, they would, but this one y'all it smells so good yes y'all see bath and body works don't be sleeping on them y'all another one of my favorites again from bath and body works confetti dreams i have the uh fragrance mist the body lotion and the body cream the fragrance notes in this one fresh raspberry sparkling pear blue iris Oh, this one just smells so sweet. This reminds me of Miami because I took this with me to Miami and it got all in my bag because this thing popped open. It popped open on me, I think, twice in my luggage before. I haven't had other ones pop up, pop open on me before, so it could just be the top on this one. This one just reminds me of Miami. This makes me think of summertime, but I don't think you can only you only should wear this in the summertime. This one just smells so good. It smells fruity, warm very sweet if you like sweet scents you most likely probably would like these something about me y'all i will buy like i said i got the cream and the body lotion i'll buy those oftentimes together at the same time but i'll open one at a time um usually just finish up one and then go to this one i have no preference i actually know i think i do prefer the creams because they're heavier thicker but I mean, I'm not gonna open them both at the same time. They're the same scent, what's the point of that? I could probably go through and name just great qualities about all of these, but um, those are the ones that really stick out to me and are, you know, what I would consider to be my favorite fragrances of the bunch. I want to show y'all just some pairings that I do with these fragrances and scents. Yeah, maybe you'll like some of these. Um, and maybe not who knows let's start with something vanilla in my dossier video again go check that out if you haven't already in that video i let y'all know that i ordered from dossier and um, on their actual site they recommend these two scents together this is the ambery vanilla and gourmand white flowers now these two i will admit do smell great together they do not last that long y'all so what i do is if I want a more intense scent or something that may last a little longer, I'll mix it with another vanilla scent of mine. And one of those scents is the um, Bare Vanilla Crystal from Victoria's Secret. This also doesn't last that long, but I feel like all of these together, it's still a good combo. If you like warm vanilla e scent, this will be good for you. When I'm wearing the Fruity Jasmine fragrance from Dossier, again, smells so good um this 
lasts to me a little bit longer than the other scents but i do pair that with the mad about you from um, bath and body works this one also has jasmine in it so that's why i paired these together because um I feel like the jasmines would complement each other. So the um, Mad About You, it says, this passionate scent is a thrilling blend of black currant, bright peony, and pink jasmine kissed with white patchouli and vanilla musk. I feel like these two work together. It smells, it smells sweet, it smells floral. Um, if you're into floral scents, like I said, I'm not a huge, huge floral person. These don't give me, these don't give me overwhelming floral because this one is really sweet. If you want to smell clean, I recommend trying Underwater Oasis from Bath and Body Works. So this is the body cream. I also have the fragrance mist. And with these fragrances, I usually pair it with Papaya Paradise Cove, which is also from Bath and Body Works. Now, Papaya Paradise Cove, it says fresh papaya, star fruit water, honeysuckle, passion flower, and amber. This one, it just smells light, clean, um, very summery, um, and like a fresh, just fresh to me. And this one, this one just smells this one just smells very clean. Almost, I don't want to turn y'all off with the way I describe some of these. It, I would say this almost smells like deodorant. <laughs> it just smells clean. I wear this in the summertime. I'll tell y'all the notes in this one. Sparkling bergamot, jasmine, bamboo, marine notes, blue musk. I feel like these together is just very clean, almost sweet, um, and just fresh. Another combo that I love, y'all, I told y'all I love like warm scents. I have Amber Blush also from Bath & Body Works. And I have Brown Sugar Fig also from Bath & Body Works. I'm not sure if these are retired fragrances, but these smell so good to me. They smell so good. Together it is like a warm, sugary, but like deep fragrance. Again, I'm not the best at describing scents. So what I found online for the brown sugar and fig, this is a, fro a floral fruity gourmand fragrance. Top notes, California frig, fig, <laughs> passion fruit, white flowers, white peach, and bergamot. Middle notes, coconut milk, vanilla orchard, um, jasmine, yellow freesia, freesia, lily of the valley, base notes, caramel, vanilla pod, um, maple, fig leaf, amber, and musk. This just smells so good. It's very warm. Um, it is sweet. It just smells great to me. Amber Blush is a floral fruity gourmand fragrance. Um, top notes raspberry, champagne, mandarin, orange, and bergamot. Uh, middle notes apricot, gardenia, star anise, jasmine, and magnolia. Base notes crystal amber, vanilla, sandalwood, musk, and suede. I don't have a lotion to pair with these, so I usually just use my body lotion when I wear these. And my body lotion is the Nivea um, Cocoa Butter Lotion. <laughs> And yeah, I just usually use that. I use that every day, every time I shower actually. How I store all of these fragrances. What I just do is store them in the little cubby drawers that I have um, in my four drawer organizer cubby thing. <laughs> so I usually store most of these in there except for my Dossier perfumes and my um, Lancome and Marc Jacobs perfume. I put those in my nightstand. Just for me, I find that storing them in that compartment, they keep them out the way, because I don't feel like these need to be on display. I mean, yeah, they may be pretty to look at, but that this is just too much clutter, in my opinion, just to have out <laughs> all day long. Honestly, to me, that's not very practical, because like reaching for them things over one another, like I was scared reaching between these, because I thought something was gonna fall, y'all. And doing that on a daily basis, you know, sometimes I'm in a rush or things like that. I just, can't, I don't want to be knocking stuff over, no. So I put them in my little organizers. I can just reach in, grab whichever one I need. And y'all, just a quick last minute comment. Of course, this is quite excessive, but I have not just bought these yesterday. This has been, I've been collecting these for years and years and years. Um, like I said, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, is most, makes up most of my collection. They do semi-annual sale twice a year, hence the name. And sometimes they have other sales throughout the years, um, throughout the year. And when they have a sale and I'm feeling, I'm feeling inclined to buy me a new perfume, I go ahead and buy one. They come out with new fragrances, new scents all the time. So I like to try those. And if something really just catches me, 
I get it if I if I can and you know I have the money to do so but I just get it so some of these you know they're on their way out some of them I'm, I'm like this one right here she almost gone she'll be gone soon so don't worry about how much I got up here y'all but yeah y'all I hope that y'all enjoyed this video yeah I'm gonna have to put all this stuff back now so I really really hope y'all enjoyed it I really hope y'all enjoyed it so much that y'all share this video like this video comment and subscribe and until next time y'all peace